Welcome to the latest podcast in the Set to Screen series. Costume design is fundamentally the expression of character through clothes. But it can be much, much more than that. In the Red Curtain trilogy, Sim and I worked on the notion that costume was very much the set. The costumes were an amplification of character. The costumes were like most of the visual language on the screen. In costume design, you're in charge of overseeing the design and production of everything the actors wear. I think the biggest challenge is the massive scale of it overall, that you're sort of chasing the hugeness of it all the time. It's like a galloping horse. To give you an idea, in Moulin Rouge, there were 480 costumes in total, including all the extras costumes. In this movie, we're somewhere between 1,800 and 2,000 costumes. It was a mixture of manufactured costumes to a specific design brief and hired costumes. I favour this mix in a crowd scene because I think it makes it look more authentic. There seems to be a more authentic texture about it because there's a certain randomness that's injected by the hiring which makes it feel more real. There's what I call the air gap between the concept, the illustration of the concept, the realisation in three dimensions, the interaction of the piece of clothing with the actor, the interaction of the clothing, the actor with the lights and the camera, and the action of the scene. And in any one of those steps, you can have problems or you can have epiphanies. And of course, there's one other very important step, and that is Baz Luhrmann, the director, who oversees all the visual aspects of the film, including the costumes in intricate detail. The process of it is something, again, we start right back when we're working on text, when we're developing the story. And I find it an incredibly valuable thing when working on character. Everything we learn about costume, you also find out about life, about the life of the character, about the world they lived in. And this stimulus is a great thing to have around while we're actually developing text. There are actually three things that you really need to take into account when you're working on a movie of this scale with the number of story threads that this movie has. You have continuity issues that revolve around the development of character. In Australia, for example, the character played by Nicole Kidman, Lady Sarah Ashley, she's very disappointed in life, and so she tries to control everything. She's very, very held in. Physical objects, her clothes, everything around her must be perfect. As she goes through the story and is transformed by the power of the landscape and this relationship with the Drover character played by Hugh Jackman, of course her costuming changes. Her physical characterization is helped by the way in which signs and symbols of the clothes that she wears tell us very, very clearly that her internal life is changing. So there's this this powerful instrument in costume design where you can take the internal shape of a character and turn up the volume on it by the choices of the clothing that the character's wearing. Secondly, we have what is called breaking down because there are many stunt and action sequences. There's a large cattle drove in the film and obviously over the journey, their clothes get dirtier and dirtier. Similarly, for action in both a stunt sense and also just in a dramatic sense, you might need to manufacture the same item of clothing. In terms of the drover's moleskins, he needed a number of different styles of moleskins. He needed a standing moleskin so that it worked and looked very good for him when he was standing. He needed a moleskin that he could do stunts in so that they were roomier in certain places to allow for the moving of his body. He needed special riding jodhpurs that didn't bunch up too much at the front for heroic shots where you wanted him to look as long and lean and perfect in the leg as possible. In Australia, we have a large and very important Indigenous cast. And so 
with lots of research, lots of discussion, lots of collaboration with those characters, we started to develop a language based absolutely in fact and research and photographic evidence from the period. And it was a fascinating experience for me as a costume designer to actually realise how meaningful body decoration actually is that you actually need to ask permission for someone to be able to use or wear certain things, that certain things are taboo for certain people to wear, and there's very much alive amongst our Indigenous caste, and we tried to be culturally as true as we possibly could. Of course, all this complexity is not achieved by me alone. I have a very large team of costumiers, people that construct all the costumes and of course this team has to be headed by someone and that's my costume supervisor Eliza Godman. Movie making is hundreds of opening nights and you can't be arrogant enough to believe that even though you've done everything you can that on the day because of circumstances that you can't predict that the thing doesn't work and you have to be prepared to go back into the truck and turn it around on a dime, like that. Go to the website to learn how to participate in the Set to Screen series. <laughs>